Hola, estudiantes. Ok, so today we're going to talk about the direct object pronouns, indirect object pronouns, and reflexive pronouns. I'm going to just squeeze it all in into one video so that you guys can just like think about the whole thing together, especially because one of the things that we can say about the pronouns all three of them is that they all follow the same structural rules that means that let's say for example let's start with the direct object pronoun okay direct object pronouns first of all and foremost i'm going to say this because this is going for basic spanish and for intermediate spanish but just in case you forgot what they are or what that means think of it this way in English, you say, I like him, I see her. Okay, so that him and that her, that's the direct object pronoun. That's it, okay? We also have the subject pronouns, which are the ones that are I, you, he, she, we, you, they. The ones that go before the verb, and it's the person that does the action. Now, we're talking about the direct indirect because they receive that action, so they are after the verb. Okay, now the thing is that tricky. I just said they go after the verb in English, but in Spanish, that's the first thing. You have to put them before the verb. Okay, so let's say him. I see him, like I just said. Okay, so you're gonna say yo dot 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 veo that him will go there. Yo lo veo. If it's a girl, yo la veo. Okay? Now here remember, we're talking just about a regular conjugation in the present tense. This is not a compound verb or anything like that. So we're just keeping it simple for starters, okay? Okay, so when you try to figure out whether it's indirect or direct, the question that you're going to ask is whom or what? Whom do I see? I see John. I see him. Yo lo veo. I see the book. Yo lo veo. Okay? The reason why I say whom is because if you say who, then it looks like you're talking about the subject. So if you say who does this, I do this. That's the subject. Whom do you see? I see him. So that way with that whom, you'll remember the him and them, okay? So that you will position it then in the sentence where it belongs, okay? So it's not that I'm trying to sound posh. It's just that I'm trying to just differentiate the who and the whom, okay? Okay, so that will be for the direct, okay? Now the next tricky thing about the direct object pronouns is the gender of things. With the example that I gave you before with the book, you said yo lo veo because you know that book is el libro. But let's say it was the computer, so you say, you know the computer is la computadora, so yo la veo, and so on and so forth. Then when you change it to many computers, you will say yo las veo. The books yo los veo, okay? Another little tricky thing is that remember that when you're talking in the usted form, then you're going to use that third person, singular and plural. So when you say tú, yo te veo, I see you, that's fine. But if you're saying usted, yo lo veo, remember it's the third person. Here I would like to put a little star about the leísmo, that's very common especially in Spain and parts of Spain actually where they say yo le veo when they are addressing to a usted, a person that's a guy or a third person, him, yo le veo. Eh? That's called leísmo. I find that, like I said in one of my posts in the forum, um, that when you are an English speaker, it's actually easier and Spanish speakers actually tend to get it more confused, the le and the lo, which is the indirect and the direct. Precisely because they can't compare it to the English and think about that whom and what and then the indirect 
for whom and to whom. Okay, there's a little bit of controversy about this because you know some people defend the leismo and they say that it should be le veo because it's a man, it's indirect. It's not indirect, it's direct. That yo lo veo. But anyway, that's a little more advanced. I don't want to get you there because you'll get all confused. Now, Professor, what are you talking about? Okay, okay. So now let's go to the indirect. The indirect. Now you're going to ask the question to whom or for whom. Okay, so let's divide it now in two sections. Direct, whom, and what? Indirect, to whom, and for whom. Okay? Also, just to recap, we put it before the conjugated verb. This is just a plain and simple sentence. Eh? Yo le explico la lección. To him or her or usted. Yo le, see, I explain it to whom? To him, to her, to them. Again, yo les explico la lección. Hmm? That means to them, for you guys in the ustedes form. Eh? Remember the les can be for the ustedes. Eh? In this case, you can use the list because it's an indirect because it's to whom. Huh? My computer is doing something funny. Computers. They make you lose track of what I was saying. Anyway, so I fixed it. Uh, back to the reflexives. The reflexives are basically when you're saying that's something that you do it to yourself, okay? The only thing that I want to point out there is that a lot of my students mention in the post, they say, well, I don't see that it's actually the way we say it in English, and that's totally correct. For example, one of the examples I saw today on the uh, forum post was that, uh, or that I think I posted or somebody else posted, is like, me levanto, me ducho, um, these are reflexive pronouns, like when you say, I wash my own hands, me lavo las manos. Huh? They will go in the sentence in the same place, me lavo las manos, me ducho, huh? se lava las manos. However, in English, when you translate it, it's not really a, a reflexive per se. For example, me levanto. Me levanto is I get up in the morning or I get up from here. Now, this is not really a reflexive in English because we don't say I get myself up or I shower myself or I wash myself my own hands, but we do, okay? So that's the point I wanted to make. The difference when you compare it to the English, yeah? The next video where I will mix the direct and the indirect together I'm gonna put it aside because this is the one that gets just a little confusing, but it's not very confusing really. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna leave it there because I always like to make the videos short and sweet, about 10-12 minutes.